you experience in any of these? A side, hypertension, heart failure, pulmonary edema, then a meal right, they'd be good for you. Neuride was approved in 1981 by the FDA. Neuride is a potassium sparing directive that binds the sodium channel. Neuride can be found in both generic and brand. Its brand is Midamol. Alright, to get an understanding of how Neuride works, uh, you're going to need to get a brief understanding uh, of how sodium reabsorption occurs in the kidney. And so what you're going to have is sodium in the urine. Uh, it's going to go and it's going to passively diffuse into the cell in the collecting duct. And it, the sodium is going to then go to the sodium potassium ATPase, uh, which is on the, the other side of the cell. And so the sodium is going to be pumped into the blood and then potassium is going to be pumped into the cell to be excreted. Uh, once potassium gets in the cell, it's going to go through this channel here, out into the urine, and then it's going to be excreted. With the milleride, we're going to block this sodium from passively diffusing into the cell. So then you're not going to have any sodium to go to the ATPase. And so then uh, no potassium is going to be pumped into the cell to be excreted. And so you're going to have more sodium that's going to be in the urine since it's not being reabsorbed and more potassium staying in the blood since it's not being pumped out. And so with uh, more sodium being in the urine, uh, the water is going to follow that sodium and that's going to lead to the diuretic effects. All right, now we're going to talk about the pharmacokinetics of amylaride. First of all, you take this drug, drug by mouth, in capsule or in tablet form. Its onset of action is approximately two hours. Its peak of action is around six hours. And its actually full duration of action is 24 hours. Now when you take this drug, only about 50% of it is thoroughly absorbed in the body. Now let's talk about the metabolism of amylaride. In fact, this drug is actually not metabolized hardly at all, which is unique with this specific class of drugs. Every other drug in this class is metabolized thoroughly by SIP. Finally, let's talk about the excretion of amylaride. Essentially, the excretion happens 50-50, 50% in the feces and 50% in the urine. The adverse effects of amylaride, hyperkalemia, dizziness, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, anorexia, amylaride. Whoa! Just like using a ladder, when you take amylaride, you have to be careful. Now, there are a few contraindications for amylaride. For example, if you have renal abnormalities, or aneurysm, or diabetic nephropathy, you shouldn't take a milleride. If you're pregnant or breastfeeding, a milleride is not for you. I'm sure, I'm glad to be off that ladder. Oh, one more thing. There's a black box warning for hyperkalemia. What's up, dude? Hey, Joshua. Hey, um, you're a pharmacist, right? Yeah, aren't you one too? Oh, no, I'm just an admission. Gotcha. Um, so my doctor just put me on a milleride. A milleride? I can tell you about a milleride. So some things you want to know about a milleride is when you're taking it, you're going to want to rise slowly from a sitting or lying down position because it can cause your blood pressure to drop pretty dramatically. So uh, another thing is you're going to want to report any signs or symptoms of increased potassium to your doctor, like uh, muscle weakness or fatigue. Uh, you will want to take your amylaride with food, but uh, avoid alcohol. And the last thing is you want to avoid any uh, potassium supplements or anything high in potassium, so you might want to lay off the bananas. Uh, but talk to your doctor and he'll let you know about the things that you should avoid. Awesome. Sweet, man. Thanks. So you know about a Miller Dude, I know everything I need to know about a Miller Great. Thanks, man.